Now that we have columns and foundation walls, we can start inserting piers and pilasters. Piers and pilasters are actually columns. This is the best way to add this type of element to a Revit model. The objective of this video is to use an existing concrete column and modify it to become a pier. I want to go to level one structural plan. I want to change a few things here. So let's go to our visibility graphic overrides. You can also click the edit button here or you can type VG. I'd like to go to annotation categories. Now I'm going to find my grids. I'm going to turn these back on. Now I'd like to go over to Revit links. Now I'm going to turn off my architectural underlay. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click okay. This looks a lot better. Okay. On the structure tab, let's click on the column button. Instead of HSS hollow structural, let's click the drop down. I'm going to grab 12 by 18 concrete rectangular column. I'm going to click on Edit Type. Now I'm going to click on Duplicate. For the name, I'm going to call it 2 foot 6 by 2 foot 6. So I'm going to type 2 foot dash 6 inches by 2 foot dash 6 inches. And we're going to hit OK. Now dimensions B and H, let's make them 2 foot 6. Remember, you can type 2 space 6. Now for H, type in 2 space 6. We can click the preview button, and for the view, we can go to a 3D view. There it is. Click apply. Click OK. Now we need to make sure that depth is set instead of height. Make sure depth is set to top of footing. Now what I want to do is let's click on at grids. Remember, we'll have to go back and clean some of these up. So we're going to click on at grids. And we're going to pick a window around the entire model. Once you see everything is selected, click on Finish. Let's delete a few. I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to delete this one. Let's keep this one, but we need to rotate it. And I'm going to delete this one. Now, a couple need to be edited. These need to be moved. And I'd like to rotate this as well as the column. So I'm going to hold down my control key. I'm going to select my structural column. And I'm going to select my footing. Now I'm going to click on the rotate button. Notice that Revit will find the dead center. It's a two pick process. So I'm going to select my 45 degree angle grid line, pick it, swing it around the 45 degrees and pick there. And it puts it in. Now Revit knew to rotate this. And it knew to rotate this. So what I want to show you is how Revit looks at that. So go ahead and select a pier. Right click and create similar. Now see we're going to place it. But if we come over to this 45 degree line. And if we hit our space bar. Notice that it will rotate itself onto this 45 degree line. If we come down to this zero degree. Hit our space bar. It will rotate it that way. If we come to our radial grid line and hit our space bar, it will note to rotate it and keep rotating it around until it hits the certain spot. Let's hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hold down my control key. I'm going to select these two piers. I'm going to click my move button. I'm going to pick a base point here. I'm going to move it four feet. Hit escape. I'm going to do the same for these two. I select the first one. Hold down my control key, select the second one, click on my move button, pick a base point, and I'm going to move it over four feet. That way it's right where we want it to be. Let's go down to our top of footing plan. Let's zoom in on one of these intersections. Notice that Revit will trim it out and it will hatch it all together. It does this because if we select this pier, and if we scroll down the structural material, this structural material has to be identical to the structural material on this wall. So if I select my wall and click Edit Type, I know that my structural material is exactly the same. So I'm going to hit Cancel here. That's why it's going to join these together. They also need to be the same exact height and depth. Let's go to a 3D view. 
let's just make sure everything looks right. And I think it does. So that's how we add piers and pilasters.